and I'm back again with another wig review so today I have a unit from red carpet premiere and I've never had a red carpet unit before I've never tried one of their um, wigs out but I seen this bob and I thought it was pretty cute and I got it in the color I got it in the color 612 and if you haven't seen the meme that's on like Twitter or Instagram about I'm about to give me a lace wig it's doing right for these ladies and it was like Cardi B, Black China and some other people I don't know I just been really wanted to try platinum blonde and I low key been afraid to do it but I went ahead and took a chance so this is a Bob unit and the name is called Brenda the full style number is RCP791. Again, color 612. Um, I guess, obviously, that's brighter than 613. So, yeah, it looks pretty bright. <laughs> so, I paid, I want to say, $34 or $36. It was a $2 um, charge fee to get this specific color you know how companies get if it's not black or brown if it's like a blonde or a red or whatever like a specialty color then you have to pay more and i bought this unit from wigtypes.com it's brenda connect line fatura fiber safe for use with curling iron fatura and heat resistant fiber this wig comes in colors 1, 1B, 2, 612, 99J, F1B30, SH430, XF1B slash grape. This is my only complaint really with like wig types and um, Elevate styles. We want to see the back of the unit. Like I know it's a new unit, but I would think that the company would send the product with pictures to add to the um, online part I guess like when you click on this wig and I just looked at it again today they still didn't have any pictures like you know like 1B, 2, 4, 6, 12 like the colors aren't really shown and the back of the wig isn't shown so it could be like a week later and then the pictures are up but I went ahead and took a chance if it's ugly in the back I might cut it but I don't know okay so right off the back I'm getting like oh my god oh my god oh my god what the hell? That's uh <laughs> y'all probably can't see that, but me looking at it right like it's just <laughs> I don't know how to say it like she literally sheds like she is shedding like crazy. I have not touched this wig like me opening it is the first time I just got it this morning today is Saturday shipping took like three days um yeah but like I'm saying I'm trying to say I have not touched this unit I have not taken it out the pack at all and it's still coming out like like it's coming out like crazy like what the hell now I know lighter shades <laughs> and I'm not even being rough that's what I'm saying like I'm not being rough at all it's everywhere <laughs> the hell I, I want my two dollars back for this color because I mean it's literally shedding oh my god I'm excited to try it but still like what the hell so 
looking in this wig, the lace is extremely light, which I expected, which I wanted, you know, to say. Comes with two combs on both sides, like the ear tab part or whatever. And it comes with a comb in the back. And if the wig is black, I mean, the wig is blonde, why is this tag so dark? That don't make sense. And then that's the part. I'll get you a close. I tried to get as close to the uh, hairline. Oh my god, it's so bright. <laughs> oh, it's so weird seeing myself with this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, first thing I want to say is the nape. It doesn't lay flat, like it's puffy. And at first I'm like, that's weird. But then I'm thinking, what if it's kind of like has a bump to it? So it gives that bob effect. I don't know. Or maybe they just could like cut it better. But right here, okay, this nape. Right, right here. It doesn't lay flat, so I don't really know what's going on with it. Okay, so the color. I like the color. Like, I, I do like the color. It's quite different. <laughs> storm, like, I've been trying to be Storm for Halloween for like years. This might really make me go ahead and do it. I also want to say about this unit, this hair and because it's Konecalon, Futura or whatever and the fact that it's so bright it kind of has that rough look to it I don't know how to explain it like see how the ends are kind of like not bushy not scraggly but they just aren't silky straight it's not like yakky straight like it just has it's a nice thick texture but the ends do kind of look a little tad bit rough i'm afraid to mess with this wig too much like i was thinking about adding like a dark root and like doing like this part black maybe like going like with a uh mascara wand or whatever and just giving it a dark root I probably wouldn't use black because this hair is super bright and I hate when it's a light blonde like super bright blonde like this and the roots are stark black so I might do like a dark brown and go in at the roots because the way this wig is set up like my edges will still show on either side this side not so much this side it's going to show, so I, if the wind blows, it's kind of like, okay, you can see my roots, see my hair. And I just slick my hair down with the Mayel Organics Edge Gel. But, um, yeah, I might do that later. I kind of just like how bold it is right now. Let me know, should I do a Platinum Blonde wig series? Because I've been thinking about it. And then this wig had just popped up on wig types. And I was like, let me try it, you know. 
So let me know should I do a platinum blonde wig series, affordable wigs, because I really like this blonde. Like, I'm liking it. I really am liking it. It's cute. I really like it. It's so different. 